Okay, so I'm trying to fix my porch up for Halloween. So I found this wreath in my garage and I haven't used it in a really long time. And all of these flowers are kind of falling off. They're just literally hanging on and they're every time I move it, they fall off. So I started to just yank the whole entire stem of flowers off, but I thought I could just pull all these off instead of pulling out the whole stick that they're on because this adds to the creepiness. And then I want to paint this black and I'm going to put some moss in here and I have this little figurine and it got broke in our move, but the bird's still intact. So I thought about hot gluing him here and seeing how that looks. Okay, so I moved into the house. It feels so much better in here. It was so hot out there. And I'm gonna start pulling off all of these little flowers. So, here we go. You know what? Maybe I should leave the leaves on. If I paint this black, these may be kind of cool painted black. hard. Some of them are very hard to pull off. I love dogwood flowers or dogwood trees I guess. <laughs> the flowers on the dogwood trees and we went to Arkansas one time and stayed in a cabin and it had the most beautiful dogwood tree in the front of it. It was gorgeous. A few more flowers to pull off. And done. And done. <laughs> Okay, so I have these lanterns not being used. I uh, used them a long time ago and they were sitting outside so they got a little rusty. But I pulled them out of the garage and I'm gonna paint them black. I think they look so good black and put them on my front porch. So I'm gonna get those painted and do a whole porch reveal when I'm done. This is the paint that I'm gonna be using. So just Rust-Oleum paint in black. Okay, so here's how it looks after I painted it. And I like how some of the green is showing on the leaves. I thought that kind of gave it a cool look. And I'm using a Christmas stand. This stand right here is thrifted and I'm just using that to hold it while I finish it. And so I'm gonna go get my moss and my bird and we'll put this together. So let's get started. And I'm using from Hobby Lobby this Spanish moss. I have so much of this stuff. So I'm gonna use it again in this wreath. Kinda wanted to keep it simple. I'm gonna hot glue some moss here. And then I wanna put um, this bird in the in the middle of it. So let's just see if this works. It looks pretty cool like this even. <laughs> let's add this moss. It is messy. Especially when I don't have my scissors to cut it. Alright, let's see how much I need. Okay, so I just grabbed a handful of this moss. So we're just going to spread it out and then just hot glue it into the center. I really need to go find my scissors. I think it needs a little bit of the black in it. Take this outside and give it a spritz and then we'll finish putting our wreath together. Okay, so I spray painted it black. Okay, so next we have to hot glue our bird in here. I think he needs something to sit on. Okay, so I'm trying to figure this out. First of all, I think I need a new glue gun that's way better than this one because this one's awful. I don't really need to get a new one. Okay, so 
I felt like it needed some more moss there and the bird needed something to sit in. So I found a lid and I'm gonna just try to glue it down in here and then fill it with moss and then maybe he has like a level surface to sit on. So if I hide this with moss, maybe that will work. Okay, so let's see if this stays, see if it's enough glue. And I actually used wire to wire him in so that he would be more secure and then just painted over the wire because it was a green wire because that's all I had. So I feel like this wreath needs something. So I've pulled out all kinds of things to try out. This didn't look good at all. So now I'm trying some ribbon, maybe some of this moss. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so next up are these liners that I painted black. And I found these lots at Big Lots. And they have a timer. So I thought that'd be really good to stick inside here instead of a candle. Um, I thought it would look kind of neat inside these lanterns. So we're going to try that out and see if this works. Remove the paper. And I, there are some spots that are going to have to be touched up. But I will do that later. I did buy two packages of these, uh, one for each of these, but I forgot to pick up batteries. <laughs> so I only have three, so I'm gonna try, try it in this one and see if it looks good. And I really wanted orange. I, I thought I wanted orange, but I couldn't find any, so this is all they had left, which I think will look pretty cool and they can stay on. Okay, so it says, uh, it says as a timer, so six hours on and 14 hours off. So that's cool. So they'll just come on automatically on the front porch. I like that. Okay, so here we go. I have to go get batteries for this lot and then we'll put all this together. I'm really glad I didn't get rid of these. These were in the to-go pile. <laughs> And I, I haven't had time to take them yet, so they're still here. So I'm glad I get to use them. Okay, so here's what it looks like before. We did add some moms, but they're kind of splitting and they need water desperately. And now she can clean it up and let's change it to Halloween. So here it is. Here's how it looks. All done. Okay, so after filming and editing my video, I found these bats at Big Lots. 
and decided to add them to the porch. So I'm gonna add these and I'll insert a picture of how that turned out. Here's how the bats look. We decided to put these in a smaller pot and then went and picked up another mom to put in the bigger pot to fill it up. And then this I bought at Big Lots. And then here are the lanterns that I painted and put fairy lights in it. And then here's how the wreath turned out. Okay, so my daughter said that I need to show my face more in my videos. So here's my face. Um, I don't really like to be in front of the camera so much, but anyway, here's how it turned out. My wreath. Sorry for the noise. There's a lot of construction in the neighborhood. Um, so here's how it turned out, and not a very big porch as you can see. Let me know what you think down in the comments. <laughs> I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications so you'll know when I post my next video. So here's a quick peek at how I hang my wreaths. I have one of these little hooks and I hang it upside down on the inside of the door and then tie my ribbon to it and then over, over the door. So it hangs down, works really good and then you don't have to have a hook on the front of your door so you don't have to see it. So I thought I would share a little bunny rabbit who lives under this bush right here. And we feed him carrots and he's so cute. 